So, 1.5, the version that got leaked right after 1.4 was live. The hype for this version was through the roof, almost disregarding the current version at the time. But did the hype live up to the expectations of the leaks? What is going on guys, it's Sage here, and welcome to another episode of an update in review. And since I skipped 1.4, why not just do a small segment of it right before we get into 1.5. It is time for the Windbloom event, Mondstadt's festival to honor Bartobas filled with minigames, an event-specific quest, and a challenge domain with more minigames in it. The domain lets you play co-op with your friends, taking on three random challenges to earn buffs before fighting a final boss. The better you do in the challenges, the better buffs you get for the final boss. We got a new addition to the Genshin roster, a sister of the Monsai Cathedral, Rosaria, a cryo polearm character who can both support by increasing the team's crit rate and be a main DPS focusing on physical damage. Venti also got a new dedicated weapon, which has a very long description. Other events include Wishful Drops, which rewards you with Oceanid's Child, and Contending Tides, where you try and finish challenges with a set amount of time. The Genshin and KFC collab mini event was also in this update, where we log in for 7 days to get the rewards, mainly 4 star recipes that resembles a few of the KFC menu. New things added are the features to lower your world level, increase condensed resin limit, and a new hangout system, or should I say, Genshin Dating Simulator. And finally, we got a new Arkin quest, we will be reunited where we actually meet Hotaru. Since everything up to this quest felt like a filler, sorry not sorry Venti, the Arkin quest was the very thing that carried this version in my opinion. And to answer the question I asked, will version 1.4 be able to top what 1.3 did? Eh, I guess it did its job. 3 out of 5. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get to the main course. Boy was this version stacked. We got tons of new features, new bosses, new characters, new domain, new changes, events, pretty much more than 1.3 and 1.4 combined. Kind of an exaggeration. Eh, not really. This was the first event we got, which gives you a crown and Diona for free. You're tasked to collect fragments that you can use to challenge the event domains. Pretty self-explanatory, but since this event was obviously aimed towards endgame players with the insane difficulty it has even with the buffs, the newer players weren't that happy since you can only get the name card if you get a combined score of 15,000. Since this version of the event was different to what we got in 1.2 which was the hypostatic symphony, energy amp relies on your character's power and the buffs you get are only from the fragments you collected, so I completely understand the frustration from the newer players. But I'd still rate this at 3 out of 5, not too shabby. Oh boy, this one was interesting. It's pretty much prop hunt but with that Genshin twist. What made this interesting was the fact that they decided to make this force public for some reason. I'm not gonna rant too much since I think I already did in my Wind Trace video and also in the forums, but the fact that it's a party game but forced public is kinda weird. But hey, it's fun, it works, just not being able to get rewards if you play with your friends just makes it more of a chore. I would love to see this event come back in the future though, but without fourth public, please. Also being a hunter is a nightmare in the last few days, might want to fix that next time. 2.5 out of 5. <sighs> Ever thought we would be talking and learning Hilicharlian? 
Yeah, me neither. The event follows Elon Musk trying to find the unusual Hillichurl way by asking Hillichurls where his whereabouts are. You get a special book which contains words and explanations on their language, specifically time. When you've finished helping the Hillichurls with their commissions, you'll get a hint as to what time and where the unusual Hillichurl is. What's cool is that by doing this event, it counts towards your achievement progress, and more importantly, we can now speak a bit of Hillichurlian. 3 out of 5, Mitasada. Probably one of the most interesting events in this update, without the quotation marks. The event is basically domains that challenges you to do certain things like punching attacks, healing, and elemental reactions, to name a few. Now, why you ask that I think that this specific event was interesting? While it's just plain old challenge domains like any other, this one gives you free trial characters to use in the event. So even if you're still Adventure Rank 20, which is the minimum requirement to take part, you'd still be able to use all the level 80 trial characters provided. If you see this as just a tutorial type event, this could have easily been implemented in the game as a permanent feature, and maybe even be a weekly thing with challenges cycling each week. Maybe I'm stretching it a bit with that one, but if they put this in the existing empty domains, this could have been a great addition to the game. But hey, that's just my opinion. 3.5 out of 5. Not sure why I have this here, it's just those small events, you know, double rewards for character talent materials. Yeah, anyway, moving on. Ah yes, our beloved Dio Lord, who always forgets that he is Mora himself, gets an Act 2 on his story quest. I'm not gonna get into specifics, but by completing this, we unlock the new weekly boss, Azdaha. Also, if Zongli were to not have a contract active with someone who we don't know yet, this could have easily been an Arkhan quest. 4 out of 5, easily one of the best story quests in the game so far. The newly introduced character that almost made everyone disregard 1.5 when the massive leak scandal happened. Seeing her kit now, it makes complete sense as to all the hype surrounding her. She's a part of the Lawrence clan, a noble family of the old Mondstadt, but also a member of the Knights. She's probably the best Claymore character so far in the game since her attacks are quite fast compared to others and her damage... well... <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, and that's only the trial version of her. Finally, my Dilok replacement. I already set my eyes on her since her trailer was released and I was not disappointed. Her playstyle is very similar to Ningguang, but she has more emphasis on getting stacks. Not to mention her ult giving her extra damage for a charge attack. I would say more about her, but that would be another video in its own. She was introduced as an Adeptus by Madame Ping in the quest for the newly added feature, the Serenity Pod. And speaking of which... The long-awaited feature has finally been added. With the Serenity Pod gadget, a subspace will be created that will allow you to make and put houses to live in. With this, the ability to get wood from trees around the map have also been added, which will be used to craft furniture and whatnot. Once you're in, you'll be greeted by Tubby will provide us with features like crafting, a shop, and a new trust rank specifically made for this housing system. You can choose one out of three realm layouts, but with a high enough trust rank, you'll be able to get all three layouts and also exterior areas. For the shop, you'll need to use realm currencies, which accumulates per hour depending on your indeptal energy. You increase it by filling your realm with houses and furnitures, each having different energy. There's also a new item that replenishes your resins, and also XP for your artifacts, but to be completely honest, it's too expensive and you can only buy one per week. Overall, definitely a very good addition to the game when the player base really needed a new permanent feature to grind for. 4.5 out of 5. The new hypostasis, which I'm pretty sure was only made for Eola, unless there would be more Monastat Cryo characters in the future. There's really not much to say about this one other than it's in Dragon Spine, so you might want to check on your meter every now and then. Although Yanfei is really good for this boss, but I do recommend having either a sword, claymore, or a polearm user to finish it off at the end with a charge attack to repel his attacks to him. You can skip this and just go for him with a pyro attack, but that would take too long. Also, I suggest attacking him when he's doing the ice spikes since for some reason it can't damage you if you're in point blank range. 3 out of 5. Azdaha uses Pyro, Cryo, Hydro, and Electro, and uses 2 out of 4 of those elements and cycles each week. 
Shields are very important in this boss fight, since taking damage from his elementals will mark and keep damaging you unless you have a shield. Before knowing this in the beginning, I was insanely frustrated since I could only solo it with Ganyu as my main DPS. After knowing the key was just to have a strong shield character, I find myself challenging this boss over and over again whenever I'm just bored since it's just that fun. 4.5 out of 5 I'm pretty interested to see the whole Abyss family after seeing this one. As of this version, the Lecter was added as a new boss in the Spiral Abyss, and let's just say his design is sick. Compared to the Herald that was introduced in 1.4, the Lecter is an Electro Mage whose attacks decrease your energy. One way I found of countering that is to use a shield that's always available, say Zhongli, or Diona, Xinyan, and Noel with sacrificial weapons. If you don't use shields or have a big enough burst damage to kill them, you probably won't have a good time going up against them. 4 out of 5. So there you have it. I'm pretty sure 1.5 had way more things added than 1.3 did, so this update was definitely the best one so far. Overall, a great update with a lot of very much needed features. 4 out of 5. And since 1.6 would probably be another filler update similar to what 1.4 was, I'm very looking forward to what Inazuma has in store for us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you're new, it's been Sage, and I will see you guys later.